Yo, what is up, my Shadow Army? So, it's Iron Shadow Curious back again with another anime review video. So, yes, today I just recently got done watching the first episode, the first episode premiere of a new anime made from Adult Swim. And I don't know if it's based on the manga adaptation or this is actually is original anime that has no manga adaptation. And there's only one episode right now because it's new, both the sub and the dub. And I watched the sub and this anime called uh, Ninja Kamui. And and the, the director who do the animation, uh, the director who did uh, the, the first season of Jujutsu Kaisen, he's a uh, director of this series. And even though I've never seen Jujutsu Kaisen, and I'm not interested in of it. But watching this, holy shit! Okay, I'm hooked. I'm instantly hooked. And uh, I, I watch it completely blind. I heard a lot of people talking about it, and I watched it. And it's basically involved well ninjas, and basically involved a character named uh, J. Logan or. Because that's the description from the, the show. And also you watch the subtitle. It says Logan. So basically Joe Logan. He's a former ninja that left his clan. The organization that he used to be part of. And just started having a normal life with his family in the countryside to be a farmer. Until these ninjas uh, that he abandoned are hunting down... Any ninjas that left, you know, left the clan. Like, it's kind of like, um, if you look at the lore and the history of Mortal Kombat, where some people are leaving the Lin Kuei and they get hunted down and they get killed because you are leaving the clan and that sort of thing. That is basically like that. They're basically hunting down their former ninja clan members for abandoning their ancient code and their duties. So, they killed four, and Logan, he's the fifth, but apparently, he he's alive. He survived. He Well, the, the ninjas thought they killed him along with his family. So, yeah. They killed his wife and son on their son on his son's birthday so yeah and um so basically the logan that you see in the beginning that's not what he looks like because it is his hiding behind not as a mask but like a a hollow mask like takes it all and reveal his actual look and it's not just him who also hide his actual face is also his family, his wife and son, to hide their actual face so they could get away from, you know, the clan. But sadly, the bastard who killed his wife and son got killed, and he told him that no matter where you try to do, no matter what you try to hide of your face, we know where you're at. We just know. And Logan wants to know who sent you like like he wants to know where he had wants to know how the fuck did he found him and his family like how did they found him like they what who, how who sent who sent y'all to find me and all that stuff and um so basically the bastard who's leading um the ninjas to hunt down the the former ninjas yeah he's shot the reveal is oh shit and so basically he's hiding his actual identity because people know what he looks like as a blonde uh blonde hair and blonde beard that's what uh, the fbi believe what he looks like but they do not know um the actual face of logan and we don't know logan is his actual name that's one thing and um at the ending, um, 
he went back to his home to get his belongings that he decided to leave the past behind and focus on normal life, but now he's seeking revenge against the people that he used to work with and he left behind for for his um his his whole life has been ruined and now he has to go back to be the violent ninja that he used to be because he wants the violent thing to be done and over with so basically now he goes back to be a oni basically uh, a red mask of a oni because his son likes to try to scare his father well scaring logan to pretend to be an oni so yeah so basically yeah logan has become the oni of hunting down the the people that he used to work with and yeah and um is is it got me interested the the animation the the fight scene was gorgeous like ooh and the story and um even i felt like um i felt a bit emotional because well i had a feeling I just had a feeling that Logan and his family were gonna get was gonna get killed, but I didn't know actually. I had a feeling that Logan's family was gonna get killed, but I didn't expect they were gonna kill off Logan. But he comes back to life, but he was alive, barely. Like, dude, he got stabbed in the back where his heart is at. Like, bro, he li literally survived, but his wife and son didn't make it on time he was the only one so he has to suffer the survival guilt that he lives but not his family and um what else uh oh what else i need to bring up he, and uh shit like when they had the their son his son's birthday party when they're all cheerful, happy, and singing, and celebrate, and when the family are having a group on and say how much they love each other, and I was about to have a fucking emotional because, yeah, I I was about to cry because, like, yeah, I know how this shit about to go down, but I didn't. I didn't cry. I just felt like I'm, I'm crying from the inside because it's going to happen. They're going to die. He's going to have to seek revenge that sort of thing and yeah I, this caught my caught my interest in, but it's basically a revenge story to yeah you abandoned your order your ancient code you abandoned your clan that you basically good at and decided to hide your face hide your identity to stop all the violence to have a normal life until that comes to bite you in the ass and you lost everything, and now you had to go back to be the most violent thing that you used to be, but a lot worse. And we get to see his power. Like, he, he breathes out a a shadow smoke. Like, something like that. And I was like, oh, shit. And, yeah. So, uh, I can't wait for episode two. But am I going to do, like, episode by episode? Probably, if you get, I'm, I'm really am interested of it, but this is just my uh, spoiler review for the first episode for this new animated series, and I might do episode review of this one because it caught my attention, cause for almost all fucking day I got bored as hell, and I had to watch the anime that I have on my list, one episode each for random anime. None of them caught my attention until this. So, yeah. Hell, I even watched the first episode of Solo Leveling, and I couldn't get into that, which is shocking, but this one did. This one got my interest. So, yeah. So, basically, I got a brand new anime that I got so invested instantly, and it's the first episode. So, I don't know when the next episode is going to be out. So, 
yeah, we just have to wait and see. And by this recording, I might check when the release date for the next episode or when this first episode came out so that we'll know, okay, I gotta wait for a week for this day to happen to release a new episode here and there. And I'm gonna um, watch the subtitle instead of the dub because they both came out. So there's both sub and dub for both the, for the show. And I'm just gonna watch the subtitle because why the hell not? And, um, yeah, that is my, uh, review of Ninja Kamui, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry I have not been posting videos recently because I didn't have the energy to make videos because I didn't feel like editing all that shit because I felt lazy and bored, and even though I wrote the fucking script, I just don't feel like making videos or editing or whatever. So I was like, when I saw this, I like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna do a review video gets my, to get my thoughts out, and yeah. But uh, anyway, you guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Links to my other channel, my social media, and my Discord server, all that will be down below the description box. You guys know the drill. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Near before, Shredder Critias, I'll see you guys later.